Welcome back to Let Us Learn to Lead video series on free open source softwares designed by M. Srinivasan, Training Associate Mathematics, Kendra Vidyalaya Sangathan, Zonal Institute of Education and Training, Mumbai. Self learning contents in video form on GeoGebra, Dynamic Mathematics Software is presented at this video series. To view the contents, you may join Google Classroom by using the class code 73AUMBO. In this video, you will learn designing worksheet to verify Pythagoras theorem. For preparing this video lecture, I used Windows 10 operating system, licensed version, GeoGebra 5.0, a free open source software, and free open source screen recorder software. Let us start. Before I start, I will show you what type of worksheet we are going to prepare. We are going to prepare the worksheet of verification of Pythagoras theorem. We will draw one right angle to triangle and we will tell them that the side opposite to 90 degrees. That is the hypotenuse. AB square in this case, AB square is equal to AC square plus BC square. And we will try to form squares along the three sides and then tell them that the area of the two squares when you add it, it is equal to the area of the third square which is uh, being made on the hypotenuse. Now, what is the advantage? You can come and ask the child to come and pull it and push it and then check whether it is common for all the right angle triangles which they are preparing. Okay, well, let us try to make this worksheet from scratch. For that, I have selected GeoGebra Classic 5 worksheet and selected geometry view and in options in rounding off to two decimal place or one decimal place whatever you want. Labeling is new points only. First of all, we have to tell uh, the verification of Pythagoras theorem. Okay. You can ask the children that what is a Pythagoras theorem. You can uh, ask them to tell the uh, statement of it. You can note down the statement also. Well, now let me go for uh, constructing it now. I will draw one segment first. Okay, there are so many ways of uh, uh, conducting a right angle triangle, but I will go for the easiest way. I need a perpendicular. Therefore, I go to this perpendicular line of uh, AB through this A. I will take a point on this object that I will call it as C. That object is movable now that you can move it also. When I move this also, you see that 90 degrees is not altered that I want actually. Okay. Now I got three points. Go to this polygon. Touch this A. Touch B. Touch C. And then come back and touch E. Well, now I will escape. This line, uh, perpendicular line is of no use now. I am just removing it. Okay. Well, now you see. I am just moving it. It is always 90 degrees. Let me check out whether that 90 degrees is... Uh, not altered, go for this angle, go in clockwise direction, B, A and C. Oh, it is always showing 90 degrees. Now you pull and push, then pull and push, again pull and push and check whether that 90 degrees is not at all altered. Therefore, it is not altered now, therefore we got a perfect uh, right angle triangle. Now we will make it uh, a small right angle triangle so that we want to just uh, draw uh, squares on that, therefore that square should be visible to us now. Okay, now in ABC slider, you just ask the children that what they want to prove. They will be interested to prove BC square because uh, from the basic symbol, you can go to this square. BC square because that is the hypotenuse is equal to once again AB. Oh, sorry, once again AB square. You ask them actually what they uh, mean by this Pythagoras theorem, what is the equation or which they want to prove it. Uh, AB square plus AC square in this case, in this particular case, suppose if the vertices changes, all of you know that automatically, accordingly, uh, this equation also changes. Okay, well, now you have to prove that BC square is equal to AB square. Okay, for that, we want uh, the values of it. Okay, I'm right click clicking, clicking it and object properties, go to this and then uh, show its name and value. Therefore, it is showing as F, F or A, whatever maybe. 
you uh, click it and then uh, ask it to show its name and value again uh, click it and then ask it to show its name and value because we want the uh, name also for that in abc we can put it okay once again uh, by uh, moving it the child should know what is bc actually moving for bc is a here therefore you can uh, go to this uh, property a uh, small a on the top again you can go to the symbol uh, sorry uh, for this a what you have to do now you have to from the object properties you have to take this a so that that will change therefore a uh, then from the symbol uh, you have to go for square okay a square is equal to b square therefore within the bracket uh, a b is uh, f therefore f from the object okay then you can go to the symbol and then go for the square plus once again within the bracket a b should come therefore from the object you take b then from the symbol whole square the meaning is whenever i'm moving uh, the numbers also move the child will uh, learn that actually what is uh, bc square what is ab square what is ac square you see when i am moving it you see uh, that is also changing press escape and then when I move it, it is also changing. You see, it is also changing. Now. But we want the value of it. But uh, don't worry about that value now because we are going to uh, get some uh, uh, squares. Okay, let it be. Uh, I'll just move it here. Okay, well, let's get. Now, I want to uh, draw squares around uh, all this side. That is base, height, and uh, hypotenuse. For that, we need a square means it is a regular polygon. Therefore, go to this polygon, go to this regular polygon, do it in clockwise. For example, you touch this B, touch this A, it will ask immediately what type of regular polygon you want. I want a square. Well, simply click OK. You got it now. Again, you click this A, click this A. I am not coming out of it, uh, therefore it is still uh, active. You got it now. Then click this C, then click this B, then again 4, therefore click OK. Ah, I got all the four uh, squares now now what you can do is you can uh, give some uh, uh, color to it for example if you want that these two this is actually a bigger one therefore this polygon uh, which one i have selected now you can go to the object properties and you can select a different color to it and uh, the style also line thickness and line opacity uh, and then uh, color everything uh, you can uh, fix it you can fix it and its opacity also you see you can fix it like this you can opacity also you can fix it like this okay well now this is only to tell you that these two when you add it you will get the, the third one okay now how to get it the value now it is very simple GeoGebra is giving you a very fantastic idea that is actually nothing but the area therefore go to this area therefore first touch this this area touch this area touch this area finish therefore now 17.14 plus 9.76 is equal to 26.9 uh, it is a very simple one. I think we can put it uh, here in ABC also. Go to this uh, ABC. And here you have to be very careful. I will come back and then tell you that this will be where it will be stored by this uh, uh, GeoGebra. The areas where it is being stored. You see, uh, the areas are being stored. 26.9, poly 3. Okay. 17.14, uh, it is poly 1. And uh, the second one is poly 2. Therefore, actually what we did was we just did it in that direction. Therefore, it has taken uh, the first one as poly 1, the second one as poly 2 and the third one as poly 3. Okay, well, uh, we will polygon it has taken. Therefore, let us go to this uh, geometry once again. Okay, come back to this ABC. This uh, BC square. Therefore, we want this uh, BC square. It is poly 3. Therefore, from the object, you go for... Uh, poly 3 is it okay 26.9 is equal to then the uh, a b square from the figure you can uh, work out that it is uh, poly 1 for from the object you take uh, poly 1 okay plus okay the second one no need to tell you the uh, poly 2 okay good i will come out okay once again uh, a b c okay the first one is poly 3 the four poly 3 is equal to poly 1 poly 1 plus poly 1 plus the second one is poly 2 
okay i'm clicking okay the number has come over here now okay now you can ask the children this can be hidden also show the object and this can be hidden also show the object this can be hidden show the object okay now they can come and uh, child can come and check it now you can pull it and then check out whether at any spot the left hand side is equal to sum of the uh, two okay now all of you may uh, think me that sir i want to just to have integer path that is why i told you you can go to this graphic uh, view and then you can uh, put it in a particular spot and then you can put it in a uh, spot where exactly it will be four exactly it will be like that you can uh, put it also you see you can uh, put it somewhere over here and then put it somewhere over here and then maximum maximum it is mating as six and here also you can uh, pull it down and then make it as uh, the required number so that it will be that uh, 6 square plus 3.18 square like that okay in the same way what you can do is you can have integer sites also but this is a general one where uh, corrected to uh, two decimal places where this pythagoras theorem is uh, proved by as by to the children therefore uh, always remember if it is inside that the child will enjoy it accordingly you adjust it so that by pulling and pushing the child can understand what is the meaning of the pythagoras theorem what is the meaning of square of hypotenuse how it is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides thank you let us learn to lead